Cashiers of Reddit, do you judge the customers based on the items they're buying? And if so, how? What's your weirdest story? When I was 15 I worked at a DVD store. I wasn't allowed to dust and stock in the adults only section. But only one customer borrowed out from that section anyway. Small, middle-aged man with severe eczema or psoriasis. Always wore a blue plastic jacket that made swishing noises when he walked. Quietly came in at 8 a.m. when nobody else was around. Would borrow out sausage fest Sunday or milfs in the middle or back door or bonanza whatever the titles were, and quickly depart, carry the black bag and declined our transparent plastic ones. Back in my day, you had to leave your home for porn. Even as a 15-year-old girl I appreciated he seemed embarrassed and made the transaction as fast as possible. After a year of this, he came in one morning and borrowed out a single DVD. Finding Nemo, I guess I couldn't hide my surprise. So he said the only thing he's ever said to me. I have clown fish, and everybody keeps telling me to watch it. And that's it. He eventually ran out of titles I guess and stopped coming in. Over a decade later and I still remember the customer who liked horny milfs and clownfish. <laughs> Worked cashier for many years when I was younger. The answer is, no, I don't even notice. I don't notice anything. I don't want to be here. You could be buying gasoline in a lighter and tell me you're lighting your mother on fire and I'd. Be like, would you like a gift receipt, sir? I'm late to this but I did do reception at my clinic while I was pregnant so I had to deal with payments so I guess this counts. It's not a judgment case but a good Samaritan case, which we rarely saw. But care I sent cheap and people would often yell at me or other receptionist because of the price. Even though working in the back I know pretty much every doctor would give you a price breakdown. And you sign it saying you agree and saw it. Anyways so this one guy is paying for his routine vaccines and some heartworm meds. Then a lady comes in distraught carrying her pretty much lifeless dog. As a tech I jumped up told the man give me a second. He nods and I grab the dog and rush it to the back and get the lady into a room and ask what happened. Dog just collapsed she said. After a walk. We live in Texas it's hot so it's most likely heat-related. The lady makes a note to say in the lobby she doesn't have a lot of money so please do what you can. Keeping that in mind, I tell the doctor and the techs working on the pet what happened and I go back up front to help the man. I was helping previously. I apologized for running away he said it was fine. I finish his transaction and says call me when that lady is done. I look at him a little confused and he said whatever she can't pay for I will. I am shocked. This wouldn't be cheap. He says I DC the price if I almost lost my baby and I couldn't pay to let her get fixed up I would. Be devastated. I tell him to hold on a second. And I ask if he wanted me to tell the lady it was him or not and he says just let her know of it is. A kindness he hopes she can pass on someday. I take his number and go and tell the woman as she is looking at the price breakdown and she says she can't pay. I ask if I can interrupt for a second let her know what this man did for her and she almost fainted. So the dog was fixed up and left after a day or two of observation. A couple of months later before I go on my maternity leave she comes back and says she has been Working and saved up some money to donate to the hospital for someone that needs something extra to help theme is here so yeah was an amazing thing to see and I haven't seen it since. Dude comes in for a frozen pizza. Six pack of BL. Pine of Ben and Jerry's and a pack of smokes. You getting the wife out of town special tonight? Quote. My wife's been out of town for 17 years now. And that's the last time I used that line. Alright, so I'm working at Dollar General. A normal night. But this guy comes in striding with confidence. Greet him with a hello. As I do with customers. But he's in the zone and foregoes the formalities. He walks straight to the movie rack and grabs a cheesy kung fu movie. And walks to the counter. 
I ring it up and it costs $5.46. He reached into his coat pocket and pulled out a bag of nickels and a single penny. A 109 nickels and a single penny for a kung fu movie called Kung Fu Masters, or something that looked like it had a $100 budget. I've never had more respect for someone in my entire life. He knew what he wanted and he got it. I make sandwiches. And I definitely judge people who request odd combinations. You want just tomato on a blueberry bagel? Whatever floats your boat, man. When I worked at Wawa I'd get the same people buying the same coffee, breakfast and pack of cigarettes every day. But there was this old mailman that bought a bundle of Tootsie Pops instead of the cigarettes every day. I'm not sure if he ate them all day or gave them out to kids but he always made me smile. I quit that job and went on to become a mailman myself. For the most part one don't really care as long as they're polite. There is this one regular who likes to bring a lot of stuff to the registers but only buys one third of it. Still spends heaps. She's also pretty rude. I judge the shit out of her. The only time I really notice or judge is when they're buying diapers. Formula or something clearly for their child and they have to put it back because they don't have enough for beer and cigarettes. This kind of elderly lady came in and bought lube. Pedialyte, a fifth of whiskey, condoms, and a cucumber. I remember scanning the Pedialyte and whiskey first and absentmindedly asking, Crazy night planned? Just as my brain realized what the rest of the stuff in the basket was. She laughed and said, It's been a long week and at my age you don't want to put up with the bar crowds. Being 18, I just sort of awkward chuckled and said, Isn't that the truth? Quote, she laughed and said, Honey, if you're still single at my age you'll understand. And walked away. I still think about that sometimes. No. No judgment. Had a dude buy. At like 1 a.m. Cat food. Beer. And Vaseline. As I was ringing him up. He said. It's not what it looks like. Good times. Worked at a supermarket. Dude buys $300 worth of cherries. Cleared out the whole area where we had Themis year we weren't even having a sale. To this day I still wonder what the fuck he needed that many cherries for. I have seen the two extremes of date night purchases when I worked at a grocery store. Man one comes in and buys a dozen roses, grapes, strawberries and whipped cream as your man two buys pizza rolls and condoms. My first job was as a cashier in a supermarket. This was like 20 years ago though. I never judged people on what they bought, but I would occasionally judge customers for certain other behaviors. There was this one regular who nobody could stand because she would come in early in the day with her magnifying glass, and she would methodically pick up every single item, on every shelf, in every aisle, and read the nutrition facts throughout her magnifying glass while taking notes in a notebook. It wasn't at all unusual for her to come in at the beginning of your four-hour shift, and she'd only be maybe two-thirds of a deci-second of the way through the store when you left. God help you if she ended up checking out on your register. Like I said she kept a note of every item she selected and during checkout she would watch like a hawk, and then have a complete freakout, meltdown if an item rang up at literally one cent more than it said on the shelf. Because of this she took like an hour just to check out which killed the soul of that unlucky cashier as well as pissing off all of the other customers by clogging up that line for an unreasonable amount of time. Worked at a off-brand Kroger store. Guy would always come in for a can of wipe cream and pop rocks. The candy that fizzles in your mouth. At least twice a month. I always wondered WTF was this about? Probably some weird oral act. It was confirmed when a lady started coming in for those two items. Apparently he got into a wreck bevos I seen him in her passenger seat with crutches in the back. Not really. Only customer that ever really got my attention was a lady who bought a cake that said something. 
along the lines of, we never want to see you again. Previously when I've told this story people have said it could have been a gag gift but going off of this lady's expression I don't think it was. She showed some real pride when she saw I noticed what was on it. I work in online grocery fulfillment. In short, I shop for people, bag it up and place the items in rolling totes. Fridge and freezers. I've seen some weird orders. One of my favorite types to speculate on is when they are 50% organic vegan items and the other half is absolute junk food and meat products. I always visualize a couple who's polar opposites or a vegan poser who hides their guilty pleasures from their religiously vegan roommates under their bed or in a locked fridge somewhere in the house. These thoughts are all in a funny 90s sitcom style. I never did. The weirdos were people who'd freak out and start apologizing over weird combinations of things that were honestly just standard household or grocery purchases. It's not weird to buy fish sticks, German mustard, raspberry jelly, celery, condoms, and toilet paper in the same transaction. It's weird to start flapping about at the register that you're not going to use those items at once. It's weird to assume that I'd assume you were going to. It's weird to assume I'd care. I did get the people who'd think they were playing a hilarious prank by buying weird combinations of items. Hee 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 I'm buying cucumbers, condoms, and a child's teddy bear. That will freak the cashier out. No, it won't. 90% chance I didn't even notice a single thing you bought. Seriously. A grocery cashier who's been around for more than six weeks doesn't even see the physical attributes of cucumber, they see, 4062. And if I was to register what you'd bought, I would assume you were a person with a family that you didn't plan on making any larger. Not a vegetable-focused child rapist. Sometimes my store would get live lobsters and not let the cashiers know. Though. It could be a little strange to pick up the box and feel something walking around in there when you're not expecting it, I guess. She bought a case of donuts and a bucket of lard and asked me if I've ever dunked donuts in lard. I worked at Taco Bell for a year and a half. Most of the time didn't really pay attention to what you ordered. But one time, at 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday, this guy pulled up to the drive through and ordered a single side of sour cream this year when he got to the window he paid with change. Obviously, as his total was 35 cents or something. But the weirdest part was he asked for a spork. I still wonder what he was doing. I used to work for a sporting goods store that sold tattoo sleeves. Not just any tattoo sleeve but specifically the tattoo sleeve of Monte Ellis. So you'd be wearing the same tattoos he had. I'm in the Bay Area so this was a while back when he was with the Warriors. We had less than 10 in stock and I did judge the customers that bought Themasure it was 